Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Peter, sir, excuse me. We got some more. I don't know. I think they're like that. I'll use it. Okay, I'm going to use one of the rocks. Good morning, how are you? Good. Only five dollars for pictures. You don't. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, no. I just wanted to see what you'd say. <laughs> I don't charge you anything to put them in, though. Thank you very much. They're looking really good. Looks nice. Thank you. So you still have a lot of things in the field? Oh yeah. Pineapple. They're a mild flavor. Still have tomatoes. And I see is that basil over there? Wow. Right, right. So yeah, we yeah. still have plenty of a season I mean, left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when it gets to the end of the season, and we, you know, garlic doesn't last all that long. What do you do to get yourself through the winter with garlic? We dry it. We, um, before it goes to sprout, uh, we'll chop it up into coarse pieces and put it on our uh, food dehydrator. And then when it's fully dry, run it through a coffee mill or a spice grinder. Oh, okay. And so you just, just grind, grind it up. up and, so basically you're making um, garlic powder. Gar it's exactly what we're making. With your own garlic. Yep. yep. And if you don't have a food dehydrator? Um, you could try the oven, real low temp. It might be more of a dried roasted garlic. Okay. Which um, we've accidentally done that in our greenhouse, roasted a bunch of garlic in it. Great. And uh, it works works out pretty good. Perfect. Perfect. Smells absolutely wonderful. I mean. Oh yeah. <laughs> Didn't even think about that. Thank you. Yeah. So how are the sheep? They're doing good. They didn't like this heat that we had this summer, but they're doing good now. That's right. Sheep don't really like the heat, do they? No, they really don't. We don't know how good they get it. <laughs> no, they don't. I know you see them out on those cold mornings, and they're just laying there, chewing their cud, looking so happy. They like it cool. Wow. They eat these little gnats and all that. They bug their udders. Say what? They, the little gnats, they were bugging them this summer, you know? they. Yeah, or those little flies or whatever they are, they just like get under their bellies and... So they're little, they're utter gnats. I guess they are. I don't know what they are, but they don't like them. They kick and then run inside. Poor little thing. Yeah, I know. How's your We're Simply roll up. Yes, you are correct. <laughs> Hey, tell me about the difference between these two plums. I've got, yeah, I do have another plum, by the way. Um, these are a gamsum. They're an English plum. They use them more for, they use them for tarts and, and jams, juices, because they're a lot more flavorful plum. Uh, this is a traditional Stanley. This is kind of the, the, the uh, plum you grew up with. Also good, they're both a yellow flesh plum. But this one just, I, I like this one just because it's got a little more pop, a little juicier, just fantastic flavor. Okay, you said more pop, does it mean it's a little tartar, a little more tart? No, it's actually a little sweeter. Sweeter, all right. Just, when you bite into it, it's more juice. It's like, you bite in, you get that little extra bit of uh, juice and flavor to it. Are you just like that? <laughs> oh. Does he like cheese? That's the question. Oh, of course. I don't know if he has cheese yet. <laughs> I don't think he can. He's, he's only five months. I don't think he's ever eaten yet. <laughs>